Hey y'all, so I'm starting off on an old blowout. So I went ahead and parted my hair in the back off camera because it's just easier for me to do it that way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to do sections in the front and I'm kind of doing like triangle sections. Basically that way my bantu knots lay right how I want them to lay on a grid of my head. And then I'm just applying a hair tie because this is gonna help me to like pre-part for the style so that's basically what i'm doing you guys just pre-parting for the style i am using a right tail comb with the space in between it and i am just parting off my hair now you can part your hair however you would like but like i said i'm doing like a triangle pattern my scalp is dry but that's okay because wash day is near so i'm just adding a little oil ain't on the little oil can fix okay <laughs> so i'm just gonna go ahead and continue to part I just wanted to give y'all a glimpse on how I part my hair in the back so I look in one mirror that's facing another mirror and that's how I'm able to part my hair myself. So this is what all the sections look like now that I have it parted off so this is going to make the process really easy for me to go ahead and start on my band two knots. So I use the extreme gel and the even 24 hour edge control at the base. Now I am heavy handed when it comes to product. So yeah, but you don't have to use any product if you don't like, but my hair likes to frizz up. So I am gonna go ahead and use some product. So I'm just smoothing that in, getting that situated. And then I am using rubber bands. I know y'all saw me in the beginning using hair ties, but I'm using rubber bands. That way it's not bulky. And then I just went ahead and cut the rubber bands out when I took this style out, but you can use whatever you would like. It's up to you. So now I'm just going around, you know, adding a gel so I can get that sleek look that I'm looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some hair to make my band two knots thicker and I'm gonna use the free trash braid fluffy wand curl in the color number two this is what it looks like so basically I'm gonna take one of the pieces I'm gonna separate it into two and I'm literally just gonna loop a rubber band through it like this as you guys can see and then I'm just gonna attach the rubber band around the base of my ponytail as you guys see me doing here and like I said before I just cut the rubber bands out my hair is in damage from the rubber bands use whatever you like I'm gonna split my real hair into two with the hair that you guys see me doing and then I'm going to twist down now you can crochet this in if you would like but I didn't feel like doing all of that so I just decided to do it this way it made it a lot quicker and y'all see I put I'm heavy-handed with the product so that's what that is turning white but it kind of worked out because it helped keep the hair not to you know tangle I just drug the product down the fake hair so I'm just gonna go ahead and twist 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 until I get down to the end okay so now it's time to create the bantu knot so I'm going to like pull some of the hair up a little bit and then wrap the remainder around the base. That way the bantu knots do not lay flat. You don't want them to lay flat. And then I'm just going to continue to wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around. And it's going to secure itself because you're going to wrap it. And if you need to readjust it like you guys see me doing here, just to get the shape that you want, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm just going to continue to wrap it until I get to the base and then I'm just gonna tuck it under so y'all see what I'm gonna do. That way it'll hold and they never unraveled on me or anything. I'm not gonna go in with another rubber band, it's not needed. So you just wrap it like that and boom. And then you got your band to knot. So I'm just showing you guys again how I did the hair and then I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the same steps over again. Okay, so like I was showing you guys, when you get to the base of the band too, you wanna hike it up like that. You see how the hair is standing up and then you wanna wrap. That way your band two knots will not be flat. 
they will not be flat this way I didn't want mine to be flat and you also can use the whole piece of hair if you would like if you want a thicker look but I feel like this worked out for like my head shape and size I got a small head and like y'all see I'm just playing around readjusting it whenever I feel like I need to you can kind of twist the hair a little tighter to give more of that like spirally effect but don't do them too tight you guys because you don't want to be uncomfortable when you're sleeping so yeah or you can just use your real hair it's up to you and I'm just fixing that one back there because I didn't like how it was looking so I'm just like touching that up see me like detangling that section I did that whenever I needed to but yeah so I'm on my last band to not finally I would say this style in total took me about maybe like 40 minutes to do with the parting and everything maybe a little bit longer than that about an hour um depending on how fast you're moving if you're like taking breaks but yeah this is a really bomb protective style so I'm just gonna go in with some even you know edge control and I'm gonna put that all over my hairline so I can swoop my baby hairs and get them right in sight you know how I like to do and then I did go in with the style factor um hideout in black as well just to define my baby hairs a lot more y'all know I love my baby hairs I like to lay them down but you can just like brush all this hair into your bantu knots if you would like it's up to you but you see boom it's gonna pull it together This is optional, but I sprayed some Gatsby Blue Free Spray just a little bit for some extra hold. And then I went ahead and tied my hair down so I could lay my baby hair down, you know, lay everything that I laid into place, the band two knots, and get them intact. And this is what is giving, okay? You can't tell me this hairstyle is not giving, it's eating. It looks so good, you guys. I am a loving this. It's so funny because growing up, my mom did these in my hair and I absolutely did not like them. I got teased for them. But look at me now, killing them, slaying them, okay? Killing the game. Now, who talking now? Who got something to say now? <laughs> no, but this style is really, really beautiful. My first time ever doing this on my channel or wearing this style since I was a kid. And I love it. Beautiful. So let me know in the comments if you try this style. Make sure you guys tag me on Instagram at Mona X Banks in your pictures. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you all on my next one. Bye.